Are you aware that people may change their behavior just like water? Just as water changes shape when placed in a container, it adjusts to its surroundings. The malleability of human behavior and its effect by many causes are illuminated by this analogy. When it comes to humans, the same reasoning applies you can convince anyone of anything you choose, just like water can be put into any container. You have the power to evoke an overwhelming amount of affection from another person. If you want to know seven dark psychological strategies to win her over, this video is for you. The sixth lesson is just amazing, be sure to check it out. You can implement these psychological techniques to persuade that special person you crave for, but kindly don't use any of these to harm anyone. Use them positively to rather have good impact in their life, because it works perfectly like magic. Lesson 1. Get good at the push-pull move. With this, you're going to change things up to keep her interested. To make her feel extra special, you have to sometimes give her too much care and put her first. We call it a push. Then change things up. Stand back and pay attention to your own things, such as working hard, making money, hitting the gym, learning and reaching your goals. She can't guess who you are, so this keeps her guessing about you. When you push, she knows you want her. Pulling back makes things more interesting because everyone wants things that are just out of reach. She is trying to figure out what you are going to do next, like in a game. That's what draws her back. To let her know you're interested in her, you need to show that you have a life and aren't interested in just waiting. This shows that you're strong, sure of yourself, and not needy, which makes you a draw. This kind of person simply makes people want to be around them. So use this push-pull vibe to keep her guessing. You need to keep things interesting and show her that you're an interesting guy, which will make you even more attractive. Number two, use scarcity to make her want you more. It makes sense that people respect things more when they are harder to get. You can also use this idea in love and relationships. You can make people feel like they need to act quickly and give yourself more value by making your time and attention scarce. How can you use scarcity effectively without coming off as uninterested or playing games? A balance is important. Make sure you're putting in real time and effort into what you want to do, whether it's your job, your hobbies, or your own growth. This not only makes your life better, but it also naturally limits your availability. This makes the time you do give more valuable. Be fully present and involved when you're with each other, and make the most of those times. Then, when you're not together, pay attention to your own goals, hobbies, and obligations. This method not only keeps you unique and lovely, but it also makes her look forward to your next meeting. Basically, when you use scarcity in your relationships, you're not being hard to get, you're just living a happy life that everyone wants to be a part of. In her eyes, this approach makes you more attractive and makes her want to be with you. Number three, use matching and mirroring. Both mirroring and matching are minor but strong ways to connect with someone on a deeper level. To use this method, you have to carefully copy the other person's body language, speech patterns, or attitudes. It can make the other person feel more at ease and understood if done right, which can make the bond stronger. It will make her feel better about you. How are you going to use this? Start with how you move. You lean in a little too if she leans in. If she makes hand gestures while she talks, use the same ones during your chat. The key is to be subtle. Instead of imitation, it should feel like you're naturally in sync with her. Next, match the speed and volume of her voice. If she talks slowly and softly, change the way you speak to match. You and she will feel at ease and in sync with each other because of the way you talk to each other. She will be pulled to you right away. The fourth thing is to become mysterious. Psychology says that people are naturally curious and are interested in things they don't know. We are naturally interested in things we don't fully understand or can't see coming. The more mysterious you are, the more people will be interested in you because they are naturally curious. How do you make surprise though? Don't tell her everything at once. She gets to peel back one layer at a time like you're a banana. She is more interested in the next layer after each one she peels back. Just tell her a little about yourself when you talk to her. Save the more important information for later. Don't just tell everyone everything about your life. Make them work for it. Let them find you. The connection stays interesting and fresh as long as she feels like she's slowly learning more about who you are and your life. The main point is to keep some things about yourself a secret. 
Let her slowly learn more about you, like a puzzle she's putting together. It will keep the spark living in your relationship and make her care more about you. Please hit the subscribe button for more if you are enjoying this video. Thank you. Fifth lesson. Make a triangle of desire. You want to show her that you're more than just a simple guy. You need to show what you're worth. Let them know that other people see you too. Say in a quiet manner that other people find you charming or interesting. People want what other people want. When everyone talks about something new and cool, you want to check it out too. That's the way the brain works. If she gets the vibe that other people are interested in you too, it makes you more appealing. That will bore her or stress her out. This is more of a warning to her and a sign that she's with someone hot and that other people think you're cool too. The plan is to just drop hints that show people like you. Giving her a taste of something new about you will tell her that she's with a hot guy who's worth her time. Number 6. Make her feel like she's the only one you care about. This is about paying attention to her completely. Show her that she's important to you when you're with her. How you act is just as important as what you say. Pay close attention to what she says. Remember the little things and show her that you understand her. What makes this a big deal? This is because everyone wants to feel unique and important in someone else's story. Making her feel like she's the only person in your life makes your relationship stronger and makes her value the time she spends with you even more. It tells her brain that you are the best person for her and that she can open her heart to you. When you're with her, put away things that might confuse you, like your phone among others. Look her in the eyes and really connect with her. This makes her feel seen and heard, which strengthens her belief that the person she's with really cares about her. Number 7. Use the foot in the door method. First do small things, then big things. This works because our brains like to do the same things over and over again. Our brains think I'm the type of person who says yes to this person when we say yes to something small. Later when someone asks us to do something bigger, our brain wants us to keep saying yes to stay consistent. Let's say you ask someone if they like chocolate. That's a very simple question to answer, right? Yes, they say. After a while you could make a bigger request do they want to go get chocolate with you. They are more likely to say yes again since they already said yes to you once. This way is cool because it fits with how people are by nature. We like to do the same things over and over. Being consistent makes us feel good. So starting with something easy and small makes it easier to move on to bigger things in a normal way. People naturally want to say yes, so this simple method will make it easier for them to do so. This will also help your relationship grow in a friendly and relaxed way. Before I end the video I'd like to know what you think about seduction and persuasion. You can also share a story of your own in the comments if you have ever experienced any of these or applied it on someone before. Hit the subscribe button to join our community for more educational content like this and more on love, dating and relationship. See you in our next video.